Hey everybody, it's Miss Nelson and I'm here to show you some of the ways that I have decorated the salt dough pieces that we made. So you may have made an ornament or many ornaments or you might have made um, <clears throat> a pinch pot or a pendant. There's a lot of different options and I showed you how to do two of them in the video. Something I didn't mention that if you haven't made the ornaments or the uh, salt dough pieces yet, you can add food coloring to the dough as you're making it. You can also add cinnamon and other yummy smelling spices so that when it bakes in the oven, it fills your house with a very um, holiday kind of scent. I love the smell of cinnamon. I think that it just reminds me of Christmas. So um, I think it's a nice smell in the winter all around. Um, okay, so I'm gonna hold up some of the things that I did so that you can see. This is uh, decorated just with Sharpie, okay? So I used good old Sharpie markers to decorate this one. All right, it worked out really well. The second snowman is decorated with crayon. What? Yes, you can actually color these with crayon and it looks pretty cool. I'm seeing a little mistake I made, but yeah. And then if you don't want it to have uh, to be flat like this or like this in look, you can also spray these with a uh, clear coat, like a varnish or um, a finishing coat on that. Um, another thing that I have done is I simply painted two layers of acrylic paint on this pinch pot. And what I might do later is glue some little baubles around the outside to make it fancy. Um, I'm definitely going to um, coat this by simply mixing some glue and some water. So you want it to be kind of like the consistency of um, cream. You just mix some glue and some water and then you can use a sponge brush or a big brush and you just coat the whole thing with the mix of water and glue. And it's like a Mod Podge, only it doesn't cost so much money. So that's a really nice way to do that. Okay, item number three is still drying. So I'm going to handle him very carefully. So this guy, um, he's a little rough, but that's okay. Uh, I painted him with two layers of brown acrylic and then that, stuff that's sticking up, that's just puffy paint. So if you have puffy paint at home, um, that's something that you can also use, all right? So you just have to take the cap off and then you just draw with it. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to spread it around, you just let it dry kind of puffy, all right? That's why it's called puffy paint. Okay, so that's three different things, actually four that you can use. We've got Sharpie, we've got crayon, we've got paint, two layers of acrylic paint, okay? And then you can seal them with whatever you want. This one would be harder to seal because he's not flat, but you can make it look like an actual cookie if you use puppy paint, because it looks kind of like frosting. Okay, but I did do that on top of a layer of acrylic paint because the surface of the unfinished, unpainted salt dough is very dusty. So if I run my hand across it, I get sort of like a flour and salt mixture on my hand. So glue and um, small amounts of puppy paint are not going to stick to the surface. So you have to paint it first before you put puffy paint or glue on it. I mean, you could give it a try, but I'm not gonna promise that it will turn out and uh, stay the way you want it to. So, all right, the last thing I wanna show you 
is on over at my other station. So I just need to pause this for a second. Okay, what I've got here is a funky little star. He kind of got bent when I removed him and put him on the uh, baking tray. But anyway, it's a little bit bent. And I painted it yellow with a very thick layer of paint. And then these are drops of glue. Now, my favorite glue for attaching things is this tacky glue. Sometimes you can find small packages of these at the Dollar Tree. Um, you might have it at home. But Elmer's glue or white school glue works too, okay? So it also works. And I just squeeze dots on this kind of randomly. As you can see, one of them got, got away from me there. It went, got kind of weird, but I'm going to just remove the extra. Oh, it already dried. Well, that's okay. Remove a little bit of the extra with a, um, yeah, I can get that off of there with a Q-tip. Hey, I did it. Hey, this was already starting to dry too much. I hope it sticks down. Anyway, so I've got some glue there and I like to use beads or bobbles that have a flat surface on them because it gives it more surface to glue down. Okay, I'm gonna push that down. And you can use whatever, you know, you're allowed to. Anything that's relatively flat, buttons are good. There's a button. Um, you know, if you try to use a round bead, it really won't stay down because it doesn't have enough of a flat surface to stick to the top of the star or the ornament. So um, you want to find things with a flatter surface that will actually stay. Okay. And the glue is going to dry the, I, the tacky glue. I think it dries kind of white and Elmer's glue dries a little bit more clear, but I could be wrong. Um, really tiny items like this seashell are fun. Just got, I've gotten an odd assortment of stuff here that I can, that I can glue down. So I'm just kind of picking through them and finding things that I like. So yeah, you can glue down buttons and flat beads. And you know what? I have been saving something for a very long time in this pinch pot that I made a few years ago, which I used to keep a ring in, um, I actually have kept this pretty jewel. So shiny, love shiny things. All right, so I'm just gonna push it down on one of my glue dots. You have to kind of push these down, otherwise they won't stick. But the trick is if you get glue on your finger, you have to wipe it off because you don't wanna like put glue on top of the thing, kind of tricky. Anyway, I've got one more thing here. I think this will work, probably. Scooch it over so it gets more of the glue. There we go. So there's a little bit of, oh, I've got another spot. Ah, what? I can't leave it undone, it's my curse. I can't just leave things, I have to fix them. Okay. So now I've got this ornament that I have glued fun baubles and bits to. Other things that you can glue to the ornaments include um, like those puff balls. If you just push them down hard enough, they'll get their, they'll have enough of a surface that you can do that. You can even glue fabric or paper down. In fact, you can stick paper down while the paint is still wet and that's a fun way to do it too. So after this, I think what would be really fun because it's already sparkly is to add some puffy paint. Now you at home, if you don't have all this fancy stuff, just remember I'm in an art classroom and it's got so much junk in the back room, all kinds of things that I, whoa, that came out fast. Oops. Oh, well, <laughs> it's a glittery thing. I'll just, I guess I'll just do random. Um, 
if you don't have all this stuff at home, it's okay. You know, like I showed you, you can do a pretty fun little ornament with just crayons and that's okay too. So I wanna try to fix that one that came out faster than I thought it would. It looks weird. <laughs> you can't tell on the camera at all, but uh, the paint that I just used is gold glitter on the camera. It just looks like a brown slimy thing, but it's much prettier in real life. So anyway, I'm just going to use a Q-tip. Now, one more thing while I'm doing this. Um, I want you to know that if you do not have brushes, you can use Q-tips. I'm just going to, there's too much paint there. I'm just going to use it to kind of spread it out here. There we go. See, sometimes mistakes happen. I'm going to try to make it look pretty anyway. There you have it. If your art teacher sometimes makes a goof, you know it's okay. Just gotta push through and find a solution. So I would just continue painting some more areas with that paint. All right, so I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of taking up a lot of time here and it's probably kind of boring to watch even though I'm having a blast. So I'm just gonna stop right there show you what we've got all right paint and puffy paint paint and beads and buttons and puffy paint and glue sharpie crayon oops crayon and just paint so if you have a fixative to spray artwork you can spray it on any of these. If you don't have a spray, again, you can make um, a coating, a clear coat using glue and a little bit of water once everything dries and you can only do it on the ones that are flat, okay? Um, you'll find that if you try to do that on these, it'll push the things off of the surface and we don't want that. So anyway, I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything and I don't think I am. So as you can see, there are a lot of different ways to decorate these salt dough pieces, the ornaments and the pinch pots and whatever you make. So just because you don't have Sharpies or just because you don't have paint or glue or puppy paint or crayons, you can use one of the other things. Just be sure that you have an adult doing this with you and you have permission to use the things. And I just like that noise. Let me come back over here so I can say goodbye. And I will see you after winter break. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful winter break and take care.